Okay, today is March 9. Actually, ito yung day before yung wedding day talaga. It just happened na may dispedida yung wedding na pupuntahan namin and it will be celebrated today. So, mamaya later in the evening. So, yun. Basically, pupunta na kami sa Batangas. So, yeah. Ito yung mga gamit ko. Tuk. Bag. Blanket. Pillow. So, yun. Medyo madami yung dalang gamit. Okay, mula di prep up, nintay ko na lang yung klase ko na si Rizan para dumating dito kasi sabay-sabay kami mapapunod dun sa wedding event. So, ito kami sa size sa kanya niya. A few moments later. Okay, pwede nga si Rizan. Time to load up my stuff. Paano to? Field trip. <laughs> Parang high school lang, no? Hi! Hi, vlog! Welcome to my house! <laughs> Welcome to our ride! Okay, let me introduce my friends first. So, this is Rizan and this is Kevin. And they are high school friends of mine. And I just wanted to show you something first. So, ito yung yearbook namin. They both graduated top of the class. Tapos si Kevin is yung salutatorian namin. And then si Isa naman is yung third honorable mention namin. So, before kami dumating sa wedding venue namin, we have our late lunch first along the way sa Chow King. 7-11 ko. Ang masal mo sa gagoboto mo si Lenny. Pakita mo si Lenny Robredo. Yan. Yan po yung gagoboto ni Kevin. Hindi ako makakaboto pero sa kanya ang boto ko. Ito po. Ito tayo sa undecided. And dahil doon, nalit kami going to the venue. And mostly talaga dahil yun sa pag-withdraw namin ng money. Kasi ang haba nung pila. And dahil doon, ito kami ngayon nagmamadali going to the venue. Sure po si Riza, binibilis na ito po. Need for speed. Kaya nga, overtaken niya po yan. Nag-iisang sakit na yan. Pakitaan mo kami ng overtake. Uy, nagbe-break siya. Chill ka lang boy. Baka mag-bobo pa tayo. Nakakabot yung break ko. Ang layo naman ng overtake niya. The whole wedding was really beautiful. Um, siguro ito yung first time ko to attend a wedding na may despedida de soltera, which is yung last night of singlehood. Uh, the event was really great. Yung, yung arrangements was really nice. And siguro dito ko na-appreciate yung opportunity to get married at a younger age kasi dito ko naramdaman yung, alam mo yun, yung youthful energy na lahat G pa even after 9, 10pm. Siguro, Compared to the typical wedding sa napuntahan ko kasi yung mga abay, halos cage ko lang. And yun, Gina G pa lahat dito. Yung palaro dun sa despedida, lahat ng sumali are, are very engaging and walang KJ. Tapos the messages given are, are very authentic. Actually, wala kami masyadong memories ng hula. Linig nga namin. Tapos siguro ito yung highlight shot para sa akin sa Despedida. And even while I was shooting it, ramdam na ramdam ko yung goosebumps nung pinapoy na nila yung sparklers nila. For me, as a videographer, yung favorite part ko to shoot during weddings are the emotional parts of a wedding. Yung excitement, yung saya, yung kaba ng mga tao. You could really feel it. 
yung excitement to see your friends na hindi mo ganun kadalas makita, yung happiness of giving and receiving gifts, the sweet, thoughtful, tearful messages, the vow that you made to commit to your partner in front of all the witnesses. Siguro for me, these are the ingredients that makes a wedding special. Okay, let me share my takeaways from my friend's wedding. Uh, siguro for someone who prefers simple things kaya sa, sa para sa akin niya, dito ko na-appreciate yung worth of a wedding na talagang pinaggastosan at pinaghandaan. Uh, siguro kasi, alam mo yun, as this is from my perspective of a supplier slash guest kasi sa nakita ko ah, kung magkano man yung ginastos nila, parang worth it yun kasi kung gaano naman talaga kaganda yung wedding. And alam mo yun, talagang memorable na memorable talaga yung mga special moments. Getting married at a younger age is fun kasi alam mo yun, ramdam na ramdam mo pa yung youthful energy and ginaji pa yung mga tao. And siguro wala pa kayo sa point na alam mo yun, gusto mo na lang matapos yung ceremony. And yun, uh, ano pa ba? First time ko to attend at a wedding na hindi sa church yung ceremony. And alam mo yun, ang astig pala and ang ganda. And it really feels like, alam mo yun, yung, it's like a movie wedding or a dream wedding talaga. Lastly, yung after party. Siguro, I would rate it sa top 5 drinking nights ko that I ever had. Ganun siya kasaya. Um, kasi yung mobile bar nun is around like 8 p.m. ata to 1 a.m. or 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And sino ba naman matatapos uminom ng 1 a.m., di ba? So, syempre yung barista, uh, he has to go. So, ang ginawa niya na lang is uh, nagtinimpla niya yung mga drinks, tapos nilagay niya sa, sa pitcher. Tapos yun, uh, inom na kami up to sawa. And kasama ko kasi dun sa inuman na yun is yung mga abay, which is yung bridesmaids, and yun yung, ano, yung mga best man. And kahit doon ko lang sila na-meet for the very first time, I really felt comfortable with them drinking. Alam mo yung feeling mo na uh, okay lang abutin mo yung limit mo sa pag-inom kasi hindi ka nila pababayaan mamatay doon. And tapos walang KJ, there's a time na kumakanta kami, nag-jump kami kasi sobrang galing din nila kumanta. So yun, I really had fun drinking with them. And siguro doon ko i-end tong video na to with us jamming kasi ala lang, sobrang sobrang set talaga. And alam mo yun, parang after all this COVID shit na nangyari, parang this is probably the the best thinking that I had parang, you know, post-COVID. And yun lang. That's probably it for this video. Peace out. Bye! I go for miles and miles and around up at your I've had you so many times, but somehow I want more. I don't mind spending every day out on the corner in the pouring rain. The poor girl with a broken smile. Oh, 
Caroline in your car. No other things that make you who you are. I know that goodbye means nothing at all. Cause back in let me catch her every time she falls. Yeah. Top on my window and knock on my door. I want to make Standing every day Out on your corner in the pouring rain oh, Look for the girl with a broken smile Ask her if she wants to stay on And she will be loved And she will be loved And she will I've had too many cocktails.